A monster surged up from the murky water, roared through the steaming swamp, and in the blink of an eye, it snatched its prey and vanished beneath the river like a ghost. It wasn't a crocodile. It wasn't a dragon. It was a real creature that once roamed this earth. Its name was Spinosaurus, a beast that scientists once called the strangest predator ever. While Team Rex ruled North America with bone-crushing jaws and a towering presence on land, thousands of miles away in what is now North Africa, 95 million years ago, another force was rising silently. Spinosaurus didn't need to roar to assert dominance. It didn't have to. Its mere shadow sliding across the water's surface was enough to paralyze everything nearby with fear. Just imagine this, a dinosaur longer than a bus that could swim, ambush prey underwater, and had the jaws of a crocodile. How could something like that even exist? Why did it look nothing like any other known carnivorous dinosaur? And could a semi-aquatic, oddly shaped creature really stand toe to toe with the king of the dinosaurs, T-Rex? Before we can answer that, let's step back to the world Spinosaurus once called home, a place some scientists describe as a prehistoric tropical hellscape. 95 million years ago, the region we now call North Africa was covered in lush forests, crisscrossed by rivers, and hammered by torrential tropical rains. Instead of a dry desert, it was once a paradise teeming with ancient life, from freshwater sharks and giant turtles to fish-eating predators the size of school buses. In this chaotic world, Spinosaurus sat comfortably at the top of the food chain. It didn't need the speed of a Velociraptor or the crushing bite of a T-Rex. What made it special was its ability to live in both realms, on land and in water. There's no creature like it, not fully a dinosaur, not quite a crocodile, not entirely a sea monster either. Spinosaurus was something that shouldn't exist, and yet it did. Picture a 50-foot-long dinosaur with a sail-like spine, a crocodile snout and powerful clawed arms creeping beneath the muddy surface. If you thought teat, Rex was the scariest thing to ever live. Wait until you hear about Spinosaurus, a predator that could stalk you from below like a giant thinking crocodile. That was the first image paleontologists had to face when they unearthed Spinosaurus fossils in the early 20th century. But Spinosaurus's story was far from typical. Its original skeleton was completely destroyed during World War II, forcing scientists to spend decades piecing together its mystery in the dark. And with each new discovery, Spinosaurus just kept getting weirder and harder to understand, like it was born from a fever dream, not from evolution. In the next part, we'll dive into the anatomy of Spinosaurus, break down what made its body so bizarre, and ask the big question. Was it a freak of nature or the ultimate predator? Picture this, a creature the size of a dinosaur, living like a crocodile with a sail on its back, claws like an eagle, and a snout as long as a giant catfish. It didn't resemble any animal that had ever existed, on land or in water. And that creature was Spinosaurus. When paleontologists first reconstructed its skeleton, they could hardly believe what they were looking at. Spinosaurus measured up to 15 meters, maybe even 18, making it longer than T. rex. But what puzzled them most wasn't the size. It was the way its body broke every rule. Let's start with the head. Unlike most meat-eating dinosaurs with thick skulls and massive teeth, Spinosaurus had a narrow, crocodile-like snout lined with small, conical teeth. That told scientists one thing. This wasn't a creature that ripped prey apart. It waited, it stalked, and then it struck. Fast, silent, and deadly from beneath the water. Then there was its back, crowned with elongated spines forming a towering sail, almost two meters tall. Some believe it regulated body heat, 
Others say it attracted mates or intimidated rivals. No matter the purpose, one thing's certain. It looked bizarre, almost unnatural. Its hind legs, small and oddly short for a predator this massive. And that raised a radical theory. What if Spinosaurus didn't walk on two legs? What if it moved on all fours? At first, that idea sounded ridiculous, but more and more evidence began pointing in that direction. And the tail? Not the thick, muscular type like T, Rex, but a broad, paddle-shaped appendage, more like a giant oar. This was the bombshell of 2020. A nearly complete tail fossil proved what some had long suspected. Spinosaurus wasn't just capable of swimming, it was built for it. That's right. Spinosaurus is now recognized as the first semi-aquatic carnivorous dinosaur in history. It didn't just wade into water, it lived there, hunted there, moved like a predator born for the depths, using its tail to propel and its snout to strike. And here's the fascinating part. Instead of competing with massive predators on land, like T-Rex or Carcharodontosaurus, Spinosaurus carved its own path. It chose a different realm, a smart survival strategy, become the ruler of a domain no one else dared to enter, the dark, dangerous waterways of the Cretaceous world. Some once called it a failed experiment of evolution. But the more we dig up, the clearer it becomes. Maybe this was a perfect design. Just not for the world we know. It was built for a different battlefield, one where stealth beat strength and water was the true hunting ground. So what made Spinosaurus evolve in such an unusual way? What conditions forced it to break the mold of every other meat-eating dinosaur? In the next part, we'll trace the evolutionary path of this strange titan, one that defied the rules, rewrote the playbook, and became a living legend of a forgotten sea. If there's one dinosaur that forced scientists to rethink how evolution works, it's Spinosaurus. Unlike any creature that ever lived on Earth, it stands as living proof that nature doesn't always follow the rules. But what exactly made Spinosaurus the misfit of the dinosaur world? To understand that, we need to look at where it lived. North Africa, 95 million years ago. At the time, the region was a unique ecosystem, almost isolated from the rest of the world. It wasn't a rainforest like the Amazon, and it wasn't dry plains either. It was a vast wetland, an enormous network of rivers, swamps, and massive lakes. And here's the kicker. This place had no shortage of fish. Huge fish, really huge fish. Scientists have discovered a wide variety of giant prehistoric fish that lived alongside Spinosaurus, some growing over five meters long with saw-like teeth. Meanwhile, most other theropods were busy hunting four-legged dinosaurs on land, like hadrosaurs or sauropods. Spinosaurus didn't take that path. It didn't need to fight for ground already ruled by giants like Carcharodontosaurus. Instead, it chose a different strategy, tapping into the rich underwater food supply and evolving into a specialist fish hunter. A completely different evolutionary path. A strategy that broke away from everything we thought we knew about carnivorous dinosaurs. Not the strongest, not the biggest, but the most unique. And that uniqueness came with a price. Confusion. For decades, Spinosaurus left the scientific world baffled. Its image kept getting redrawn, revised, and even scrapped, because no one could decide if this thing was even a real theropod at all. The first fossils of Spinosaurus were found in Egypt in the early 20th century by German paleontologist Ernst Stromer. But during World War II, the original bones were destroyed in a bombing raid. Spinosaurus essentially vanished from paleontology for almost 50 years. Then, in the early 2000s, new fossil finds from Morocco changed everything. These bones revealed a longer body, 
strange legs, and a bizarre tail. And with every new piece, the image of Spinosaurus only got weirder. No one could fully visualize what this animal actually looked like. And that's what made it so fascinating. It's a creature that makes you question, what does the perfect predator even look like? Does it need huge teeth, long legs, razor claws, and the ability to sprint like T-Rex? Or can it be something that vanishes into water, hunts in silence, and slides onto land like a ghost? Spinosaurus didn't just challenge our idea of what a predator was. It shook the foundation of how we think evolution works. And the scariest thought is this. If nature could produce something as strange as this, how many other weird creatures are still waiting to be discovered? In the next part, we'll dive into the fiercest debates in paleontology, where the myths, misunderstandings, and century-long controversies surrounding Spinosaurus still refuse to die. Was it truly the king of the waterways? Or just the result of a mistake we've believed for far too long? There's something most people don't know. Spinosaurus is one of the most misunderstood dinosaurs in modern scientific history. From the very beginning, it gave paleontologists headaches. The first bones were discovered in Egypt by German scientist Ernst Stromer in 1912. Even then, he sensed that this creature was unlike anything else. But what he couldn't have predicted was that the very specimen he uncovered would be completely destroyed just a few decades later. In 1944, during an Allied bombing raid on Munich, the only known Spinosaurus skeleton was wiped out along with the museum that housed it. And just like that, the world lost its only physical evidence of this bizarre creature overnight. With nothing left to study, Spinosaurus became a scientific ghost, existing only on paper, in Stromer's hand-drawn sketches, but never seen again with modern eyes. For nearly 50 years, every depiction of Spinosaurus was pure guesswork. Sometimes it looked like a T-Rex with a sail. Other times, it resembled a duck-billed dinosaur crossed with a crocodile. Scientists could only speculate based on a few scattered fragments. Then in 2001, a discovery from Morocco shook the paleontology world. A new Spinosaurus skeleton with entirely different features. Short legs, slender bones, tall spines, and most shocking of all, a flat, paddle-like tail. That's when Spinosaurus entered a whirlwind of controversy. Some scientists embraced the new vision. Spinosaurus as a semi-aquatic dinosaur, a skilled swimmer, a predator that hunted beneath the water's surface. Others rejected it outright. Not enough evidence. Its bones are too fragile to swim well. The shape is too strange to be real. One side saw Spinosaurus as a breakthrough in evolutionary science. The other side saw it as the product of imagination gone too far. For the past two decades, Spinosaurus has become the center of fierce debates at academic conferences, in research papers, on documentaries, and even YouTube. Some call it a forgotten monster finally brought back to light. Others mock it as Godzilla with a science degree. At one point, some researchers even suggested removing Spinosaurus from the traditional group of theropods altogether claiming it was so different it might represent an entirely separate evolutionary path. And that left the public wondering, what is Spinosaurus, really? Was it real? Or have we all just believed in a collective misunderstanding for nearly a century? And more importantly, are we glorifying Spinosaurus because we want a dinosaur that's different, not because the evidence truly supports it? But maybe that's what makes Spinosaurus so special. There's no other dinosaur that's been both loved and doubted, celebrated and mocked, hailed as a symbol of evolution, and dismissed as a fantasy, all at the same time. It's not just a prehistoric animal. It's an open question that still hasn't been fully answered. And maybe that's what makes it immortal in the hearts of those who love discovery. But if Spinosaurus truly existed, 
truly hunted underwater and truly dominated with its bizarre form, then the biggest question remains. If Spinosaurus went head-to-head -head with T-Rex, who would survive? In the final part, we'll bring both of these legendary beasts into the arena. No more theories, no more sketches. Just a raw, hypothetical showdown between the King of the Land and the Phantom of the Water. Both were massive predators. One ruled the land with crushing jaws. The other, a silent stalker of the swamps, looked bizarre, but hunted with deadly precision. If these two had ever lived in the same place at the same time, what would really happen? Imagine a riverside plain during the dry season. The water retreats. Fish flop helplessly in the mud. Spinosaurus is feeding, claws gripping a giant fish. But just beyond the trees, another shadow approaches. It is T-Rex. No roars. No sound. Just eye contact between two apex predators who had never met until now. T-Rex, weighing nearly nine tons, with muscles like steel cables and a bite force that could crush bone like paper. Its jaws delivered over six tons of pressure, enough to snap a car in half. On dry land, it was a walking nightmare. It could smell prey from kilometers away and moved with terrifying speed. For its size, Spinosaurus was longer, but lighter. Its weapons were not brute force, but adaptation. A long crocodile-like snout for catching fish, sharp claws for quick strikes, and most importantly, it moved effortlessly in wet, unstable terrain. In swamps and riverbanks, Spinosaurus had the home field advantage. So if they fought, who would survive? On solid, dry ground, T-Rex would likely dominate. Its powerful bite could end the fight in one strike. Its strong legs gave it explosive speed. Every muscle in its body was built for hunting land animals. But in the swamp, things would change. Spinosaurus was not stronger, but it was smarter in its environment. It could use the mud and water to evade attacks. It might even try to pull T-Rex into deeper water, where balance became a problem. In the murky shallows, power meant little if you could not stand. But here is the truth. These two never met. T-Rex lived in North America. Spinosaurus lived in North Africa. Oceans and millions of years separated them. Each was king of its own world. One ruled the open plains. The other ruled the flooded forests. This fight only exists in our imagination. And maybe that is what makes it so fascinating. One represents raw power, direct and brutal. The other represents evolution's wild card, strange and clever. So who survives? Maybe the one who never fights at all. Because in nature, the smartest animal is not the one who wins every battle. It is the one who knows which battles to avoid. And sometimes, being different is the only way to survive. If you enjoyed this story, consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a comment with your favorite dinosaur, and turning on notifications so you will not miss the next adventure. There are still many strange, powerful creatures waiting to be uncovered. Can you guess which one is coming next?